Hey, welcome back to Thanksgiving First Aid. This video is about gravy. Everybody likes gravy with their Thanksgiving dinner, but sometimes you get caught in a pinch and you can't make any or you don't have any. Well, you can. Of course, what you want to do to make gravy is use the roasting pan that the turkey was roasted in. Take the turkey out, take the drip tray out, and in the bottom of that pan is a bunch of burned on grease and fat and liquid and drippings and all kinds of stuff in the bottom of the pan. Use that. That's a ton of flavor. Put about a quart of water in that pan, put it right on top of the stove, turn the stove on, and then bring that water to a boil. Use a rubber tool, a wooden scraper, something like that, to start loosening up all of that glop on the bottom of the pan. It's not glop, it's fond, and it's delicious. Get that pan good and hot, and maybe add a little bit of wine or something like that if you want to. This is a perfect time to introduce some herbs as well. Maybe a little bit of sage, a little bit of parsley, something like that. Throw it in the pan. And as you continue to work that out, once you get everything loose, strain it, and you should end up with about a quart of liquid. And then you can make the gravy in the following video. Or, big problem, somebody brought the turkey. Well, that's not really a big problem. If you bring a turkey to my house, I'll be happy. I won't see it as a problem at all. Because I've got a hack. I've got a perfect hack that if you still want gravy and you don't have a pan to get the drippings out of, you can fake it. Use chicken stock. I've got a great chicken stock video. Check out my other videos. But even if you don't make it, you can always buy some. You should always have a, a quart of chicken stock on hand. Use the chicken stock and make this same recipe and it makes some great gravy. Take a look. All right, like I said, this is a total hack. I've got a half a stick of butter in there. I've got six tablespoons of flour. And we're just going to make a quick roux with this. What we want to do here is just cook this flour. Like we got to cook the, that raw floury taste out of the flour. We want it to taste like it's a cooked product. I'll just cut the heat to about medium. All right, you can see how the butter is starting to fry the flour. We don't want to get it too dark. We're not making jambalaya. We just want to get a nice little brown on the, on the flour. We just want to cook that flour so it doesn't taste like there's raw flour in there. I'm smelling it the whole time. And as soon as it starts to smell almost nutty, you can smell like a nutty flavor coming off of that. In goes a quart of chicken stock. Remember the chicken stock video? This is the stuff right here. You can buy it in a cardboard box um, from the supermarket or you can make your own. Here we go. So what happened? We made a roux. We cooked together flour and butter browned the flour, got all the raw flavor off of the flour, and then to that hot roux, we added just cold chicken stock. Whenever you're making a sauce and you mix together a roux and your liquid, you want a hot roux and a cold liquid. Stir them together. Now we'll just bring this up to a boil. I'm going to bring my heat back up. Okay, I've got this over high heat. What I want to do now is just bring this up to a, literally to a boil. What we want to do is we've encapsulated the flour granules in fat. We want to bring this up to a heat that they'll all expand and create the gravy, create those big giant starch pillows of, of gravy that will create a nice thick luxurious sauce. Look how nice and thick that's getting. We want this to happen. We want to boil this sauce. We want to boil all the starch out of those little encapsulated roux granules. Hit it with a little bit of uh, seasoning mix. Your favorite is fine. Salt is a good thing here. This 
looks runny, it's fine. It's hot right now. You're going to put this in a gravy boat and put it on the table and it's going to cool off and it's going to be very thick. So trust me on this one. What you see right here is exactly right. Get it in a gravy boat, get it on the table. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your gravy. Bye bye.